Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. I'm gonna start off by saying, I bet you guys are wondering why did she paint a fruit fly? Well, to be honest, I just wanted to really. I've been on a colorful animal slash insect slash whatever lately, so I googled colorful insects. And Google showed me this awesome colorful fly and I thought, hey, let's just give it a go. Uh, I love bright colors and while this little guy isn't on everyone's favorites list or anyone's favorites list for that matter, I really enjoyed completing it. I also have a Cricut that I've completed uh, with intense blocks that I have for a future video so if you kind of like bugs maybe, um, then stay tuned for that at a later date. The materials used in this video are Copic markers, um, my Uniball pigment pen, I have uh, Copic multi-liners in there, Inca gold metallic paints, and a little bit of gouache and white uh, Prismacolor pencil. If you're not familiar with the Inca Gold, I know from others, um, if you guys have been watching my videos for quite some time, uh, you pretty much know all the other materials that I've been using here except for the Inca Gold. It's a new one that I've brought into my videos. And basically what it is, it's a little container uh, with a, I think it's like an acrylic base paint in there. And what you're supposed to do is apply the, the paint to an object and you use a cloth and you buff it out and that makes the, um, the paint more... Uh, it gives it more of a shine, so to speak. But now the tins or the the containers that I have um, are drying out really bad, and I can't really use it for that anymore. So I was thinking, well, I'd like to be able to use these paints because it would be a waste if I didn't. And I thought, well, maybe if I add a bit of water, maybe I could, you know, use them somewhat um, of a watercolor paint. And maybe they might look like those awesome fine tech paints that all the other YouTube artists are using that I don't have that I want really bad. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I can purchase those soon. So um, it, it did work. I used a bit of water, as you'll see here in the video, a little bit later on. And um, I, it made a really nice shine on the page and it was still uh, an opaque paint even though I added water to it. And uh, hey, it worked for what I wanted to use it for so now I can use it and not have to throw it out. Uh, the paper is my Canson Mixed Media book and I must say I am in love with this paper. I've been using this book since October of last year. It's taken me a while to fill it up but I really really do like the paper. Uh, I'm planning on stocking up a little bit more when I get to an art store while I'm on holidays in August so I'm excited for that. I found a paper that I really like. The overall piece took me about three hours to complete, and that's including drawing the uh, the fly as well. But for the sake of having a shorter video, I didn't include that part because I already have a 12 minute video, and I take forever to draw things. I really, really do. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about the piece. Um, bef before I go, I would like to say uh, welcome to all my new subs. My channel made it to uh, over 800 subscribers this week and it's super exciting to see my channel grow. Um, also, starting next week, I'm hoping to start live streaming more. Uh, hopefully at least once to twice a week if I can. They won't always be like really long streams. They may be an hour or two on one day and maybe four or five on another depending on how much time I do have. Uh, so if you want to be notified, um, you can hit the bell that's located next to the subscribe button and uh, you'll get a notification uh, when I go live and you'll also get a notification every time I upload a new video as well. So that's um, something interesting and, and new maybe if you don't already know about that. Well, that's everything that I have to say for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying it, even though the topic of the video is slightly a little weird compared to some videos. Um, but, you know, again, I just wanted to do this because it was really nice and colorful. And again, I really did enjoy the piece as I was making it, and I found it quite fun. So, I hope you guys enjoy it too. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Alright, bye for now.